Hi, it's Rosie from I Heart Recipes, and in this video, I'm going to share the best recipe for French toast. So you're going to need some thick sliced bread. The bread I'm using actually has uh, maple swirls in it. This is the brand that I'm using. If you can't find this bread, that is completely fine. As long as you have thick sliced bread, you are good to go. Now in this bake dish, I'm going to crack open three large eggs. Once the eggs are in there, we are going to lightly beat them. Next, we're going to pour in some milk. I'm using whole milk, but you can use 2% fat free. It really doesn't matter. However, I do not suggest using buttermilk for this recipe. Let's add in some vanilla extract. And now we're going to add some brown sugar, granulated sugar, ground cinnamon, and some ground nutmeg. Once everything is in that baked dish, we're going to give it a stir. And now we just have one more ingredient to add, and that is melted butter. So again, we're just going to make sure everything is well combined. And now we're going to start adding our bread. So for the bread, I added each slice in here for only 10 seconds, about five seconds on each side. It soaks up the moisture pretty quickly. So yeah, you don't need to let it sit in there that long. If you're enjoying this recipe so far, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that and thank you in advance. And now we are ready to cook our French toast. So here is my electric griddle. I'm going to spray it with nonstick spray. If you don't have an electric uh, griddle, you can definitely use any pan that you have. So I'm going to cook this over medium heat and I'm going to start adding uh, my toast on top of this griddle. Don't forget if you want the exact measurements, it can be found on my blog iheartrecipes.com. I will leave a link down below in the description box. And we're going to cook our French toast until it is nice and browned just like this. Be sure not to uh, squish your bread, otherwise you will have flat French toast. And now that it's done, we're going to remove it from the griddle and we're going to serve. So I am going to serve it with some uh, melted butter on top. I have a sweet tooth, so I'm going to add some powdered sugar and syrup, but you can use either or. You can certainly leave your toast in whole like this, or you can cut it in slices, but that's it. Definitely give this recipe a try and tell me what you think. And coming up next, I'll be sharing my recipe for homemade banana pudding. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. And don't forget, I upload every Sunday and Wednesday.